on his sonsy face, great chiefs in all the pudding race, aboon them all you tack your place, page, tripe, or fern, wail are you worthy, o a grace, as lands my earn. The growing trencher there you fill, your heart is like a distant hill, your pen would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber beads. His knife, see rustic labour dight, and cut you up where ready slight. Trenching your gushing entrails bright like pony ditch, and then, oh what a glorious sight! Wan reeking bitch. Then horn for horn they stretch and thrive, dare take the highness on they drive, till all their wheel swelled kites the line are bent as drums. Then, odd good man, may slight to arrive, bethank it hums. Is there that o'er his French ragout, or oleo that would stall a sow, or fricassee would make her spoo with perfect scunner, looks down with sneering scorn for view, or in sick a dinner? Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank a good whip lash, his knee a knit, through bloody flood or field to dash, oh how unfit! But mark the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clapping his valley knee a blade, he'll mark it whistle, and legs and arms and heads will sned like taps of bristles. Ye powers will mark mankind your cares, and dish them out their bill of fare, all Scotland wants no skinking fare that drops and luggies. But if you wish her grateful prayer, Gear a haggis 